All right, guys. So I'm working on the car again. Um, I took a week or so off. Uh, super busy at work, and it's been raining here in Florida pretty much every day. So um, haven't had too much time to get stuff done and run around and get parts. Uh, I'm taking the turbo off today, the KO3. So there it is back there. Um, Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is get all the charge piping that goes up here off. Um, it's usually 10 millimeter and then some ring clamps. You know, you're going to need some pliers, a couple flathead screwdrivers, you know, stuff like that. 10 millimeter socket. So, once you get all that stuff out of the way, the downpipe is four studs for the stock exhaust on the stock KO3. Um, they're 17 millimeter nuts. Pretty much, you're gonna have to use a 17 millimeter wrench uh, to get it off. It's kind of a bitch. You're gonna need a hammer or something. So set the wrench on there and then try to hit it loose, tapping on the wrench. Um, it's gonna be hard to do by hand otherwise. Once you get that downpipe off, you wanna go ahead and remove the top three bolts, which are also 17 millimeter. Um, the inner one right here, you're going to have to do with a wrench because you can't really get a socket on there. It's really difficult, uh, the angle of it. And the other two just come right off with a ratchet. And then you have a bracket, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a bracket underneath the turbo itself that hooks to the turbo. There's two Allen bolts that hook that bracket to the block and the turbo. Obviously you're going to need to get those two Allens off before you can get the um, actual turbo loose and then you have a turbo coolant line hooked to the turbo which it hooks right there with two bolts on the flange and then the line loops around to the coolant ball system right around where the timing is um, there's an oil drain line coming from the bottom of the turbo that connects to the pan you need that get that off as well you can kind of see it right there by the axle and then the feed line so all those are a couple bolts on the turbo itself for the coolant and the oil respectively once you get all that out of the way you should be able to drop it from the bottom um might be able to pull it out from the top what you could do is drop it down and then take the manifold off the exhaust manifold itself is probably 15 to 16 13 millimeter nuts as you can see right there a couple of them are tricky you got to get them off with a wrench or you need a long extension um, once you get that stuff off you're good to go you can't pull it out in one piece I tried in my other car didn't work taking it all apart like this is the best way so that's what I'm messing with today um, it's coming along I painted the, the other valve cover, um, painted the intake manifold, some other stuff. Uh, I got the gasket for the coolant flanges. I'm gonna be hooking the cooling system back up. The flange right there that holds the sensor. Um, be putting a different valve cover on it. Cleaning it up down here a little bit. And then once I do that, I'm gonna set the uh, exhaust manifold on there, the T3. Uh, turbo manifold for the new one and I'm gonna get it rolling I picked this one apart um, I still got to get the bumper off and do the intercooler and let me show you the uh, the old bumper support with the intercooler all right so here's the intercooler as you can see got some stuff laying on it so the whole thing is attached to the bumper support itself. Um, I'm just going to take the old bumper support off. It's three bolts on each side, two in the bottom, one on the top side. Um, comes right off. So I've already got it, the old one connected to there. So I figured why mess with it, just switch it over. I'll be also switching over the bumper too. So all the parts that I trimmed, I'll be able to reuse. 
and um, just pop that bumper back on there and it should fit. So I'm going to order some new piping. Um, here's my old piping down here. It was uh, two and a half inch on the cold side going to the throttle body and the hot side was two and a quarter so I'm going to upgrade to two and a half for the whole entire thing. Um, I'm be using this intercooler for now. I'm going to be ordering a lot, a lot larger one and modifying the bumper to fit it. It's going to be a lot taller. This one's not bad though. Um, can support three to four hundred horsepower. There's the valve cover with the tap in it for the uh, touch can. There's the intake manifold. Got it all painted. Satin black, high heat paint. The uh, turbo compressor. Outer cover. Painted it black also, so it'll match. This thing right here is stripped to the bone, as you can see. Got the whole front off of it, the intercooler. Um, we're switching over the headlights. In case you're wondering, the headlights are two bolts on the bottom and the two up here on top. And then you gotta disconnect it from the inside, obviously. Yeah, this thing's being picked apart. The only good stuff left is really the motor and the tranny. The whole back exhaust too. It had a turbo back exhaust and be switching over eventually to the other car. Um, I took most of the lines and the coolant off of this. So if you guys need any parts, um, I can ship it for the right price. Just let me know. I still got a bunch of interior trim stuff. Um, this is a GLI, so it's got the good interior trim. If you're looking for anything, door cards, panels, Got some fenders, the hood's in good shape, the trunk is, um, there's a lot of stuff still left to be used. I'm also going to have some sets of seats, some stock seats out of the, this car for stupid cheap. Um, if you're interested in just, you want some seats, they're like beige cloth, I mean, I'll let them go for like almost nothing, so just let me know. I got a lot of stock parts for this, I'm going to have the stock KO3 that I'm taking off now that I just showed you. So it ran great, didn't smoke. Um, as far as I know, it had pretty low miles on it. So, yep, this is what I'm up to today. Hopefully it doesn't rain, you know. Nice sunny Florida. It's about 85, 90 degrees right now, sweating my ass off. But uh, I'm trying to get her done little by little on my days off. All right, well, if you have if you want, have any questions or you need any parts, let me know in the comments or shoot me a message. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, anybody interested in MK4 platform for the Volkswagen, um, I got a lot of knowledge on them. I've had quite a few, and I've modified all of them. So I'll be happy to help. Just let me know. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.